This video will give you a quick overview of the 2019.2 software release for AudioScan VeriFit 2 and Axiom verification systems. We'll look at each new feature briefly. Please consult our user guide or the context-sensitive help available in your AudioScan product for complete instructions for use. The 2019.2 software release includes the following versions. 4.18 for VeriFit 2, 1.24 for Axiom, 2.16 for the NOAA module, and 1.10 for the AudioScan remote console. Downloads for all of these can be found by logging into customer.audioscan.com. The most eagerly anticipated feature of the 2019.2 release is the new Probe Guide Software Assisted Probe 2 Placement Tool. This will be available in both VeriFit 2 and Axiom and allows for quick, efficient positioning of the probe tube in the ear canal for real ear measurements. From any real ear test screen, click on the Probe Guide icon to launch the tool. For those new to probe tube placement, it launches with a set of instructions for patient positioning and setup. Click Next to move to the preview screen where the use of Probe Guide is clearly explained. There's a selection box in the lower left corner which allows the two instruction screens to be skipped in future when Probe Guide is launched. On the measure screen, simply click the play button to start the placement on the ear of your choice. Start with the probe tube outside the ear, then slowly move it into the ear canal. The white ball indicates the progress in real time. Once the appropriate position is reached, a green check mark appears, accompanied by an audible chime. Click stop and move on to the next ear. SII, or Speech Intelligibility Index, predicts the intelligibility of speech based on how much of an amplified speech test falls within the client's residual dynamic range. The VeriFit 2 and Axiom include target ranges for SII when using the DSL child fitting rationale. This release extends this feature to DSL adult fittings as well, based on recently published data from Western University. In SpeechMap, the rationale must first be set to DSL adult. SII target ranges are available only for 55, 65, and 75 dB test levels. Once tests have been run, note the vertical lines in the aided autobars. These indicate the suggested upper and lower limits for SII for each test based on the client's pure tone average. 2019.2 software has also brought changes to the look of our test graphs. The new high definition graphics allow for smoother curves and true transparent colors. Due to hardware limitations, this particular feature will apply only to VeriFit 2 Generation 2 which is serial number C, 1947 and up, and Axiom Generation 2, which is serial number B, 2108 and up. We have exciting news for users of our VeriFit Link automated fit to target tool. With this release, the VeriFit 2 now supports simultaneous binaural measurements through VeriFit Link, both in the test box and real ear. VeriFit Link has already shown to substantially cut down the time needed to verify hearing instrument fittings. Having the automated sequence test binaurally will decrease that time even more. This will be implemented first in Oticon's Genie 2 release for 2019.2, expected in the market around the end of August. Another new feature for users of VeriFit Link is the ability to adjust Max TMSPL from the fitting software. The Max TMSPL setting is a safety limit in the software which stops any real ear tests when a preset sound level has been reached in the ear canal. The default is 120, but this must often be raised for severe or profound losses or lowered in cases where the client is sensitive to loud sounds. Since VeriFit Link is designed so that the clinician runs the verification testing from the fitting PC, it's a matter of convenience that this setting can be altered from the fitting software as well. First release is again for Oticon's 2019.2 Genie 2. Our NOAA module has now implemented a much requested feature, the ability to add custom text notes with saved test results. 
When saving the result from the audio scan, the usual preview window comes up, and you can customize the title of the action. Below this, there's now a freeform text field in which you can put any notes you want. These can be recalled later by clicking the Notes icon. Selecting any earlier action and clicking Notes also allows you to add or edit notes after the fact. Printing from the AudioScan NOAA module has been expanded to include the ability to pull the printout directly from the connected equipment. This means the NOAA module would then have access to the print settings in a Verifit 2 or Axiom as well as test data, making it possible to print the tabular data along with the graph shown on the screen. In the new version, selecting print brings up four choices. Print from NOAA, which prints the images stored in the NOAA database along with anything else specified in the NOAA module print settings. Print from Verifit 2 or Axiom, which pulls the print from the connected Verifit or Axiom and includes anything that's specified in the AudioScan's printing setup menu, Save PDF from NOAA and Save PDF from Verifit 2 or Axiom, which follow the same pattern but will store a PDF file at a predetermined location on your PC. We've even added the ability to predetermine the naming structure of this file for compatibility with EMR systems. One last feature is again for users of the AudioScan NOAA module. Upon launch, the module will now notify you of any possible software updates to either your AudioScan equipment or to the module itself. We know how busy you are. This way you won't miss new features as they're released. If you aren't ready to update, you can pause or cancel these reminders in the settings menu. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the features in our exciting 2019.2 software update. For more information, please visit our website at audioscan.com.